morning. I thought I'd do a bit of gardening today. Uh, last year I spent so much time developing my barn and workshop area that I let the garden go to absolute rack and ruin. Um, I mean it wasn't perfect anyway but you know I did like to keep them on top of it. Yeah, but last year because I had so much on I thought oh, I'll just leave it. I'll, I'll get on with the other stuff and I'll, uh, I'll deal with it this year. So uh, things eventually come back to bite you <laughs> and, and this house I'll just quickly show you how bad the garden's got in one year. So this is the view from my veranda looking down on it. We'll have a walk down in a sec and just see how bad it is. <clears throat> We've got this decking area down here. My wife likes to have this artificial grass down, but the problem is I've just picked that piece up because that will lay there, you can see where it's damp. It stays damp underneath, so I'm going to lift all these artificial grass mats up today and let the decking dry out. So another job I've got to do over here is blast all this and re-oil the decking. So this is my decking area. Well, like I say, we haven't really been down here this winter. Well, you don't, do you? You don't play outside when it's, when it's cold. My old Union Jack flag I made out of pallets a few years ago. So anyway, yeah, that's the decking area. And this is another shot of my neglected garden. I mean, it was never perfect down here. But I did have, I had strawberries on along here. Um, I've grown potatoes and peas in these areas before now, but I just, like I said, I just left it last year. I had far too much on. Right, my bottom garden. Absolutely overgrown to the absolute max. And uh, today's Sunday. I've got Monday off because it's bank holiday. Is two days going to be enough to sort this out? Let's hope so. I'll certainly get it back on track anyway. I tried getting in here earlier but I couldn't get in because the, the lock's a bit rusty up so I've had to spray a bit of WD on it. in there I don't think. Yeah. Abandoned like the Marie Celeste.
I don't really want this stuff going all over my shed. It gets in all the cracks and forces it apart and damages it. So that's that's in a year. That can you imagine what it'd be like after a couple of years. That that shed would be covered. It'd be beyond saving. There you go, what a difference a day makes. A day and a bit of hard work. Yeah, red up today, I had to change halfway through and put a pair of shorts on and a vest. I think it's the nicest day we've had this year. So, a nice Easter weekend for a change. So, it had to be done. It was a day's hard work, but at least it's done now. And I can do something, to, something nice tomorrow. Might build something for the garden tomorrow. I don't know yet. I think about to, I think about it tonight. My trellis in there has seen better days, so possibly um, I might look at making some new trellis in for that. We'll see you anyway. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.